Visiting with Hewell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation. Hi everybody, I'm Hewell Hauser and here we are on a very warm, sunny, windy winter day. And even though it's windy, it's still a perfect day to go to the beach. So here we are at Bombay Beach. Now, the only catch is, is that Bombay Beach is not on the ocean. It's on the sea, the Salton Sea, out here in the middle of the desert. And there is the little town of Bombay Beach right over there. We have arrived, we're heading into town. We're gonna meet some of the locals, get a sense of direction there, and then we're gonna head to the actual beach itself. This promises to be a real desert Salton Sea adventure. Do you live here at Bombay Beach? Yes, sir, we live here in Bombay Beach. Well, tell us about Bombay Beach. We're coming here to spend the day here. Oh, for here it's really nice and comfortable, and uh, we just feel free over here. It's nice and quiet, no, no kind of uh, bad habits around here. We uh -huh. just tell people we really enjoy ourselves over here. Well, now, I'm going to the beach itself. Where's the beach? You just go straight down the road, and uh, you run right to it. Right into yes, it? Yes, sir. And they have other beaches. Wait a minute. Let me run over here and talk to this lady. You live here, too? Yes. Well, tell us about it. Well, they have other beaches going out 111. Uh-huh. Going, is that north? North Shore. Yeah, going towards North Shore. Yeah, but what about the beach here? The beach Bombay here. Beach sounds so interesting. Well, Bombay Beach is very nice. They have nice beaches down here. You can just go out there and go, most people go fishing at the marina. Uh -huh. We have a marina and everybody goes fishing there. And they come and camp out there at the marina. Uh -huh. So it's very nice. Well, I'm sorry we're gonna miss you in town. Y'all are heading out today, aren't you? Yeah, for a little while. Okay, maybe we'll see you later on. Oh okay. yeah, you will. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks a lot. There they go, they're heading off. Okay, we're here. This is called the Sky Inn. It's called what? Ski Inn. Oh, the Ski Inn. Yes. Is this the hot place in town? Oh, yeah, definitely. What goes on in there? Everything. <laughs> well, some of the good stuff. All the good stuff. <laughs> and then you're the... I carry the milk to the Bombay area. From where? Nylon. Oh, so you come up from Nylon. Yes. So do you know how many, how many people live in Bombay mm, Beach? Well, we have like 300 boxes out here. So. Uh -huh. You don't I'm deliver sure. to the houses, no. just we right just to the boxes. boxes. Yeah. Okay. Are they pretty nice people out here? I like them. Yep. Is it always this windy out here? No. <laughs> this is hard for me. Sir? Big thrill of the day. Wait for yeah. Gloria to show up over here. To bring the mail. Yes, the mail. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the guy over here getting his mail. How you doing? Well, pretty good. We don't get blown off the beach here. <laughs> well, now you live out here. Yeah. Tell us what it's like to live in Bombay Beach. Well, this man knows more than I do. I haven't been there that long. How long you been here? Oh, about a year and a half. And why did you come to Bombay Beach to live? For quiet. Mm -hmm. Now, I've commandeered, what is your name? Jane. Southwood. Jane. And you're running the bar inside the ski yeah, inn. The kitchen, the bar, the whole nine yards. And I understand that this is pretty much the center of activity out here. It is. Yeah, we try and keep it really busy. Mm -hmm. We have darts on Monday, Tuesday, Thursdays, and whatever else we can get into at any time. Now, do you have locals mainly, or do you have tourists coming down the highway who just pull in here not knowing where they're going or what they're getting into? Well, we have a few tourists that stop in here, but the most of them are locals, and now we have the snowbirds from the spas, and there's four of them up there. So they come down here for a little, little little lemonade at your bar. Well, not necessarily that. They come down to eat uh -huh. <laughs> and play darts. Uh -huh. And then they on weekends is when we have our specials. So they come down here to eat out. Last night was tostada night, so we did that. <laughs> well, now, this fellow right here is going to give me the tour. Do you think I've hooked up with a good guy? Yeah, I think you have. He knows town pretty well. Now, he's been here a long time. Now is this, he kept, we're trying to figure out where the middle of town is. Is this a pretty good shot of town right here? What is town? Well, this is not town. <laughs> You'd have to basically take a, a view of the whole thing from up there, up above, uh -huh. to get the real thing. 
But if I'd start out going down here to the, to the store and then the state beach out here and up on the marina and the bar that's closed down there and then there's another one closed up there and then there's another one closed up there. And so wait a minute, you got the only game in town going here. Well, outside of the American Legion. That's it. That's it. Well, we'd ask you to go with us, but you've got to stay and run the fort. Yeah, I got to cook. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice to meet you. Your name again? It's Jane. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. And we're going to hook up with this fella, and you're, we're going to go to your house now, oh, to your really? trailer. Oh, my goodness. Wacko. They call me Wacko. My name's Wayne, really. Oh. <laughs> okay, we're off. <laughs> <laughs> now, our first stop where you brought us. Why did you bring us here, Wacko? Well, this is one of our favorite bars we used to hang around for years until the two people died that owned it. Frank and Alma Hartgraves, bless their hearts. Uh-huh. We used to hang around here all the time. How long has this place been oh, here? 35 years. Really? Yeah. Probably one of my first hangouts. Now, did Bombay Beach used to be more of a happening place? Was there more activity going yeah. on? Yes, yeah, so there used to be five bars down here. Uh, Barco's, the waterfront, uh, Luck of the Irish, this place, and the ski inn. Uh huh. And we used to have, have all kinds of fun. I mean, it used to be packed down here. Really? Yeah. Now it's down to one. Yeah. No, there's two. You got the American Legion. Oh, okay. I, I happen to be in the American Legion. Oh, I okay. Take so you can go to both of them. I can go to either one of them. <laughs> all right. Now, where is the. I'm still kind of mixed up. The sea is right over here, isn't right it? Right over That's why they built that berm right here, because it was flooding this town here for uh -huh. a while. But all we have to do is go down the road here and turn right over the berm, and then we'll show you that. Okay, sure. let's go to the... You want to drive down here? Yeah. Oh, what do we got here? There's a picture. Well, I'll be darned. What is that? I have no idea who that is. Must have come out of this place here. Somebody broke in here is what they've done. Oh, okay. Well, let's walk down the road. You want to walk or drive? Yeah, we'll just walk. Anyway, they built this berm. You can see where the water's still coming through it. Uh-huh. This place here all got flooded out. Took them forever to clean this mess up here. Uh, the young man that owns it now is Mike uh, Hargraves, his son, and he's stuck with all the bills. <laughs> Hope you don't see this on television. Okay, here we are at the Bombay Marina and RV Park. Absolutely, good good fishing grounds right here. Really? Yeah, we catch all kinds of fish out here. And it's usually packed, but during the winter, uh, it's, we call it a die-off, them cro or not croaker, but uh, tilapia die-off. Uh -huh. During the summer, the corvina come in and spawn and boy, we catch all kinds of big fish out here. Good eating. Oh yeah, yes, no, no doubt in my mind. Now that's a pretty good shot of downtown Bombay there, isn't it, yeah. Bombay Beach? Yeah, that's a good shot. Uh, our fire station right there, with the, you see the blue building right there. Uh-huh. Yeah, just happy-go-lucky people, that's uh -huh. all we are. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at the sun reflecting yeah. on the water. Oh, it's really nice. It's just slow right now. In fact, the lady ain't here that the ranger was asking about, Lee Head. She runs the place. Uh -huh. But IID owns it. And you can see how they charge so much a day. Oh, for hookups. Mm -hmm. $12 a day for a full hookup. Yeah. Then they got the boat ramp here, which the IID keeps it cleaned out. The I, I, what's that? IID, it's Imperial Irrigation District. The electric company down here bought all this property. Now, wait a minute. Where is the beach itself? Right out there. Let's go to the beach, because that's what we came out here to do. Maybe we'll see some of them uh, tilapia that are died. Well, there's a lot of controversy, isn't there, about how clean or not clean the Salton Sea is? Yeah, over the Sonny Bono special deal we're supposed to have it cleaned up. And his wife took it over after he died. Uh huh. And I guess there's money allocated, but we haven't seen anything going yet. So Hopefully. how optimistic are you that things are gonna get a little livelier, get better, get cleaned up? I hope so. I hope soon, really. But I don't know. It's it's been going on. They always do these studies, and nothing's ever been done yet uh -huh. that we know of. Well, they've cleaned out the. Well, they do that. 
get, so the boats can get out of there. Uh huh. And they bring down that big crane and clean out so the boats can get out of here. So you've got a potential yeah. for a pretty good boat harbor here. Oh yeah, there's no doubt in my mind. I just wish the media would get hold of this and quit running it down. It's a good little town. Yeah. One thing about it though, it keeps a lot of people away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now look! I've got fish right off that rail right there. Get out there. They had a big, uh, uh, did you see the movie, The Abyss? Uh-huh. They did it down here. Really? They, they were here for four months doing it, and it was about a 40-second deal. <laughs> but I was fishing right out there, and I caught about a 20-pound Corvina. Now this is, wait a minute, there's somebody's got a... Yeah, somebody's out there. Got a chair out here. I forgot it. See all this stuff here? It's all uh, fish. They come up on there and they die, and it turns into just shells. But it is actually gorgeous. I, re I really love this place. Proud well, of it. you know, it's something that some some people would come here and look. Now look at the beautiful mountains you've mm -hmm. got over yeah. here. Yeah, we, we have dune buggy rides. We go back up in there. We have a burial ground where we take the ashes for the you know, the ones that kicked the bucket. Well, we got caught up there the other day by the military. Almost gave us tickets uh -oh. for being up in there. But when people come out here, they either see the beauty of it, mm -hmm. or they go, oh my gosh. Yeah, exactly. But I, I don't know why they go, my gosh. We come out here, we can go swimming in it. Especially when it's real rough and windy, you know, you get the big waves coming in. Oh, we have a ball. Wait a minute. You can go swimming? Because I'd heard it was not the cleanest water in the world. Well, it's no different in the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a couple of rivers they call the Alamo, and uh, I can't think of the other one offhand that supposedly runs into this thing. But it's been here for 30 years. It never has changed. Yeah. But no, we go swimming in it. It used to have ski races down here. Don't bother me. I'm still alive. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes, how far down does the beach run? Okay, supposedly it's 42 miles long and about 16 miles across. And I, I used to be a sport fisherman down here. I ran a charter boat. But I mean the beach itself. Let's walk right up to the top of this little mound right here. It goes all the way down. So this beach runs all the way down the sea. Yeah. Yeah, sure does. <laughs> well, I would think you probably have a lot of people here who come here to get away from things. Yeah. To just, to, to, just to escape the world in a way. Exactly. That's how I started. Come down here and I just enjoyed myself and I've been here ever since. Where do you go get your groceries? There's no place to buy anything in town. Well, you go to uh, Nyland or you go to Brawley. Or how Indy. far away is that? 30, about 37 miles one way or the other every about well, once a month we go load up really yeah load up real good <laughs> you got to it's too expensive yeah. otherwise you you know i can't say that either so i gotta be careful boy there are a lot of things you can't say i know <laughs> <laughs> but, but we have a yeah it's kind of a system we all kind of work together right take this. care of each other yes you protect each other yes it's getting windy again i know i know it's going to be windier pretty soon you know that? Yes. <laughs> so it starts getting windy as the day. Oh boy, it gets worse. But what can I say? We love it. We live here. Enjoy every minute of it too. I just hope everybody on this channel knows that we love Bombay Beach. We love the desert. Now we've hooked up with Steve Horvitz, who is the... I'm the superintendent of the state parks in, on the Salton Sea, Hugh. Right, and actually Steve brought us here today. I knew you would want to see Bombay Beach. It's such a unique and special place, and so I hope you're going to have a great day over well, here. Well, of course, we've already been taken around a lot by the mayor. I saw that. The mayor, he knows everything. <laughs> He's lived here for so long. But there's somebody else here that you wanted us to oh, meet. Oh, you've got to meet this woman. She runs this RV park over here, and she's just a special person, and you just have to know her. He's saying good things about you. <laughs> What's her name? Lee. Lee. Yes. Lee, I'm Huell Hauser. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Tell us about Bombay Beach. We're getting the tour today. Well, there's a lot of things you've got to know. I suppose Wayne's already told you. 
Well, he's told us a lot of things, but what? maybe yeah. you can fill in some of the blanks. What would you like to know? Well, tell us a little bit about the place. Oh, in the summer, the, uh, the 30th of May, Memorial Day, we had a fabulous time here. We had, uh, what, about four, 400 people, mm -hmm. campers. We have a boat launch, campsites out here, dry hookup, uh, tables, patios, and full hookups. Well, now, the place, the place, and they got live bait. Right. The place, when you first drive in, people are either going to like it, or just like it. Or not like it. You can tell right away, can't you? can you? tell right away the ones that's not happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They drive in and take a look and make a circle and get the heck out. Really? Right. And the ones who like it probably come back year after year after year. And some of the old timers that used to come 10 years ago are already coming back now because they got rid of some of the people that was here running it they didn't like. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And everybody likes you, right? Well, I hope so. Do you run a tight ship down here? Well, it's pretty yeah. tight, but it's, I'm lean with a lot of people. <laughs> you have to be in a business like this. Yeah. You have to have a little lean with them. Mm -hmm. Well, I had never Thank you, really man. heard of Bombay Beach before. Shame on you. I know. It's a beautiful place. The, par the state parks up here, the rangers are wonderful. They're in and out all the time. Uh, if I need them, I call them. They're here. Mm -hmm. The game wardens. It's and just a, a wonderful group of people. Wacko was telling me that there's a lot of bad news put out about Bombay Beach. It's terrible. It's terrible how, what the media does. And if you put it out, you're a dead duck. Now, Wacko, here's another place that looks like it used to be something. It used to be a real nice dinner house owned by uh, Bill and Maxine McLaren. What happened to it? Uh, the floods. Uh huh. And they kind of split up and. Well, actually, the flood is what did it. Just flooded it out. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. Here is, here is, Steve, That's an a, example of what's given this place kind of a bad name, because all up and down this beach. That can happen, Huel. That's a dead fish. That's a tilapia, and when the water temperature gets below 55 degrees, they'll die in mass. They're a warm water fish. They don't like it cold. Really? Yeah. They come from South Africa. Let's go down here to the water, because Wacko said this is good swimming water. It is good swimming water. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a little chilly right now. But why has the Salton Sea gotten such a bad name as far as the water is concerned? Oh, boy, there's so much misunderstanding about the Salton Sea. And so many people are afraid to come here because they don't understand what happens. There's some serious biological problems with the sea, but there's no threat to people to use it. It's too salty. It causes uh, the systems to collapse. There's too much nutrients, there's too much life in the sea, which is overburdening it, which eventually will cause the systems to collapse. Now look at this, Hugh. This is barnacle shells. This all came from the, from the ocean, from the old Navy base operation on, on the south end of the sea. The, the sea is just full of these. What is this? This is all fish. Fish. These are fish bones. Those Listen. Oh my gosh, as far down as you can see, But it's got its own beauty to it. It does. It's a gorgeous place. It gets a little warm in the summer, but more birds here in the winter this time of the year than any other place in California. Almost half of the total species of birds in the United States have been spotted here at the Salton Sea. About three million birds use it every single day during the winter. And you have a lot of visitors here. We have a lot of visitors. To the state park itself, there's about 250,000. The Salton Sea, about 1.6 million every year. So a lot of really? people come, yeah. It used to be, though, the resort capital of California. This is where the Sonny Bonos and the, and the Marx Brothers, the Beach Boys, they came out here and they really? played and they recreated. They probably went to Bombay Beach. The stories of Frank Sinatra on the other side golfing. And now you don't see them anymore. They, well, a lot of people have forgotten. But look, it's got so much character to it. Look at all this. Mm -hmm. Now, what was this? Just a... It built a, a fishing pier going out there, and when the storms came up, it washed it all out. So the pier would have gone all the way out yeah. here. Yeah, when, well, where them pilings are out there. The sea it, has gone up and down over the years. Oh, it started out when it first created about 95 years ago. It was a lot higher. It went down. It's a big flood in the 70s, which brought it back up. And this is what happened as a result. Most of the communities flooded out, 
And ever since then, people begin to realize you can't build at the shore of the sea because there's no way out. Yeah. The water comes in and it stays. Well, this is where we were walking to. This is a very strange place over here. This is, and this used to be part of the part of the park where people used to live, and you can still see the, the old buildings. My favorite is that building over there. It's a hardware store. It says, if we don't got it, you don't need it. So wait a minute. All of this used to be part of the town, mm -hmm. and it was just submerged mm -hmm. uh, in the 70s when the Salton Sea rose. Mm -hmm. And you see the dike that we crossed over, which is built to keep it from inundating the rest of the town. Look at this. This Isn't looks that, surreal. It does. And a lot of uh, movies have been fil filmed here. Videos have been filmed here just because it makes a wonderful Hollywood set. Yeah. It's almost so strange. You can't believe that it's real. It is. It is. The first time you pop over that hill, you just have to stop for a second and look around. Look at this. What is this, Steve? What are these things? Are these salt deposits out in the middle of this thing? That's what that is. This ground will get a little bit soft sometimes, but this is, we're walking on salt. Salt and seas, about 20% saltier than the Pacific Ocean. And you can see the deposits right here. Look at this. Look at this, Louie. This is the strangest. Look over here. Surreal is the only word I can come up with. That's a good word for this. This place is a, a mix. It'll change, it'll change colors. It'll be red, blue. And I don't know what the positive, but it's weird. I mean, look at the salt. You can see how salty we got here. Yeah, all along the edge, I'll sink in. Uh -huh. You see how salty it is. This and it goes all the way over here. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. They used to, late 1800s, early 1900s, they had an operation down here called the New Liverpool Salt Works that mined the salt from this area. It was considered some of the richest, richest beds in the United States. And now you got some beautiful reeds of mm -hmm. sort up here. Mm -hmm. Steve, this is strange. Isn't this something? There's a hardware store over there. Parking reserved for hardware store. You have to bring your boat in now. Sir? This used to be my lot back Right there. here? Yeah. That's when my girlfriend got burned up in a fire down here. Oh, God. And then my bar was right on that corner right there. Uh-huh. Well, there are the birds. Yeah. There's the water. It's all very strange. It's a unique place. It's I've seen... Unique. Unique. I've seen pictures of this place that date back 30, 40 years ago with this operation in force, with those signs advertising the gas, the boats would come up here and just fill this place full of people recreating. A lot of your viewers are gonna remember coming here to Bombay Beach because 30 years ago, this is where Southern California boated. Well, Waco, thank you very much for the tour, you're Mr. Welcome. Mayor. Yeah, enjoyed it. Steve, enjoyed myself. thank you very much. Oh, you're Steve. welcome, come now back anytime. All the way back. Well, thank you me. know, let's stand right here. This is an interesting shot right here. Well, because what is so interesting about this, Steve, is that if you recommend this as a destination for people, they got to know what they're getting into. This place is on the edge. If you're coming here expecting a Holiday Inn and a fancy restaurant and a bunch of yuppie amenities, this ain't the place. You're not going to get it, but you're going to get a good spaghetti dinner if you want that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's right on the edge. It's about as on the edge as any place we've ever visited. Uh, here in California, but it's a wonderful place. It is. It's full of characters. It's full of. What's that? Bunch, bunch time. Well, it's that, there's a fire there's going. A, there's on. a volunteer <laughs> fire department here. <laughs> Never a dull moment in, you in Bombay Beach. <laughs> but I recommend the Salt and Sea. We'll put the number down here where people can call for information just to come down and drive around it and get into the character, to the grit, to the, the, the culture that exists all around this sea. It's a very special place. It is, and it's worth the trip to come out and take a look. This is a unique area, and it's a, it's a very special, sometimes forgotten lake. Well, if you want to have a great road trip, come down here to the Salton Sea. If you don't find Steve, look up Wacko. He'll give you the tour. And the lady who runs the RV? Lee. Lee 
her knee will be fixed by then. We hope so. And uh, they'll show you as good a time as they showed us today. That's it, our day at the beach. There it is right there, the sun reflecting off the water of the Salton Sea. It's been a great day here in a very strange yet wonderful place called Bombay Beach. You know, if I worked for the Chamber of Commerce here, I'd market this because anybody can go to Disneyland. This is something the likes of which you'll see nowhere else. I think you're right. This is the only place where you're going to find this, and it's so unique, and it, it's so interesting. Just come out and look around. Maybe not just Bombay Beach, but all this little desert area here is, is, is very special because there's little treasures like this. Yeah, but if I lived in Bombay Beach, I wouldn't touch this because number one, it's made them some money making movies here with this, using this as a backdrop. It had definitely has. It is a site of a number of movies and videos out here. So they could, they could, they could market it. And nobody would believe this was real. It's so surreal. It does. I think nobody would believe that it's in California. <laughs> and less than an hour away from Palm Springs. Exactly, some of the richest areas in California, we're just in their backyard. And this is about as far from Palm Springs as you can get and still stay on the planet Earth. I think so. <laughs> Visiting with Hewell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation.